Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a shopping list in Notion that will ensure you never forget anything ever again. Let's start as always by giving you a tour of the shopping list then I'll show you step by step how to build it for yourself. So here we are on the shopping list tab which shows all of the items that are currently on your shopping list. You can also input the quantity of the item that you need to buy here. In this area column this lists the area of the store that you'll find the item and one thing that I really love about this list is that the items are automatically sorted based on where you'll find them in the store. So if I just click on this property to show you the options, these options have been sorted based on the order of my own grocery store. So you can actually move these around by dragging them to match the layout of your own grocery store and this will then amend the list. As you can see this one's now appearing at the top so it's ordered correctly. It makes it just really easy for you to just walk around the store and just work your way down the list. You won't have to go back anywhere because you've forgotten to pick something up. Now when you've grabbed the item from the shelf you can just check this box here and it will be removed from the list as you can see. Now what makes this shopping list even more useful and advanced is this my pantry tab here which kind of ties the whole thing together. So on this tab you can list all of the items that you have in your pantry and you can also select the area of the grocery store where you're going to find that item. Then we have this got checkbox here. So if it's checked it means that you have that item in your pantry so you don't need to buy it. However if it's unchecked then it means you don't have the item or you're running low. So for example let's say that I run out of apples so I'm going to go over to apples in the list and I'm just going to uncheck this checkbox because I no longer have apples or I'm running low so I want to add these to my shopping list. So if I now just head over back to my shopping list as you can see apples has now been added to the shopping list and I can then amend the quantity here of how many I want to buy so let's say I want to buy five. So here's how I use the system. So before I head off to the grocery store, I will check the My Pantry tab and I'll uncheck the Got checkbox for anything that I don't have or I'm running low of. So for example, let's say that I'm running low or I'm out of these items. These will all then be added to my shopping list. And on the shopping list, I can then input the quantity of the item that I want to buy. And all of the items will be sorted based on the area of the store that I'll find them. I'll then go to the store and get the list up on my phone. And as I place each item into my basket, I will check them off on on the list. This will then remove them from the shopping list and under the my pantry tab the got checkbox will now be checked again as the item is back in stock. So it does take a little bit of time setting up as you do have to add everything to your pantry initially and then set the appropriate area of the store but then every time you do your grocery shopping you can simply just check the items that you want to buy and all of the work is already done for you. So let's jump into how you can build this shopping list for yourself. So just before we jump back into the tutorial I just want to mention that I do have a ton of pre-made notion templates over on my store. You can check these out. I will just leave a link in the description box below. So that's all back to the tutorial. So I'm going to start by creating a new database. So I'm going to type in forward slash database and select this database inline option. And I'm going to name this database shopping list. And I'm going to click on these three dots here and just hide the database title as I think it just looks a little bit cleaner without it. We're also just going to delete this default tags property as it's not something that we need. So I'm just going to hit delete. Now we're going to start by building the My Pantry tab. So I'm just going to change the name of this tab to My Pantry. And I'm also just going to change this icon here as well to this one. So the first column will automatically come up with the name of name, but we're actually going to change this to item as this is where we're going to actually input the item that we're going to buy. I'll just make this a little smaller. So I'm going to start by just adding a few lists into here so that we have something to work with. So let's just add apples, bananas, and so on. So these are the items that I've added. So you can just add a few items to start, but then over time you can build up an ultimate list of everything that you keep in your pantry. So the next thing we're going to do is add a select property. So I'm going to click on the plus symbol here, type in select and click click on this one and this one we're going to name area as this is where we're going to input the area of the store that you'll find that item. So down here we can add some options for this select property so I'm going to click on add an option and type in the first one. So this is really going to depend on your own grocery store, the different areas of the store that you have. I'm just going to input a list of the most common ones so like produce, bread and bakery, dairy and meat and so on. Okay so these are the options that I've added. As I said just add whatever works for you and your grocery store. The next thing we want to do is then order these based on the layout of our own grocery store. So if you can't remember that's fine just do what you can for now but maybe next time you go to the grocery store you can just make a note of the areas and the layout. But for now I'm just going to order it based on my own grocery store. So I'm going to put produce at the top because that's the first thing that they have in my grocery store. Then we're going to have dairy and meat spices and seasoning and so on. Okay so this is the order that I've gone with. So next what we're going to do is select the appropriate area for the things we've already added to the list. So for apples I'm going to click on here and that one's going to be under produce. 
Same for bananas. Bread, I'm gonna put in bread and bakery. Eggs is gonna be dairy and meat. Okay, so I've just filled that in for all of the items in the list. Now next, so I do want these items to be ordered based on the order of my grocery store. So at the moment, this is just in a random order. So what we're gonna do is add a sort. So I'm gonna click up here on sort. And we want to sort based on the area. And you just want to make sure this is set to ascending. So it's gonna go from the top of the list to the bottom. So the sort that we've just added will now make sure that everything on this list is ordered based on the area of the store that you'll find it in. So let's just add a new entry for something under the produce because that should go up to the top and be grouped along with the other produce items. So let's just add in peaches and I'm gonna select produce. And as you can see, it automatically jumped up here to be ordered with the other produce items. So if this was my shopping list, it would now make it easier for me to work my way through my list. Next, we're gonna add the got checkbox. So I'm gonna click on here to add a new property and type in checkbox and select this one and we're just going to call this one got question mark like this and I'm just gonna make this column a little bit smaller. And I'm just gonna check the checkbox for a few of these items. Okay, so this is the My Pantry tab. So in here you can add as many things as you like, pretty much everything that you have in your pantry or in your home. And now what we're gonna do is create the actual shopping list. So I'm gonna click on the My Pantry tab and I'm actually just gonna duplicate it. And this one we're gonna rename over here the shopping list. And I'm also just gonna change the icon here as well to a shopping cart this one and I'm just going to pull this one to the front as well. Now the main thing that we need to change about this tab is that we need to add a filter for this got checkbox so we only want to show items where the got checkbox is unchecked. These things that are checked means that I have them in my pantry so they don't need to be on my shopping list so let's add a filter by clicking this button here and we're going to filter by the got checkbox and we only want items to show where the got checkbox is unchecked. And as you can see, that's now removed all of the items where the checkbox was checked. So the final thing we need to add here was the quantity property. So you can input how much of each item you want to buy. So let's just add another property by clicking the plus symbol. And this one is gonna be a number property. And we're gonna just call it quantity. And I'm just gonna move it to be the second item in the list like this and make it a little bit smaller. So I can then input how much of each item I want to buy. So let's say I want four apples, five peaches, and just two packs of toilet roll. Okay, the final thing I want to do is just over on my pantry, it's now added this quantity column on here as well, but I don't actually need this for the my pantry because this is how many of the item I want to buy in the shop. So I'm just gonna click on it and select hide in view so you can't see it in this view, but it will still appear on the shopping list tab as you can see. And that is the shopping list set up. So if I go over to my pantry and if I just uncheck a few more of these items and we head over to our shopping list, as you can see, that's all been added into our shopping list. So I can then input how much of each item I want to buy. And as I walk around the store I'll tick them off as I go and these will then all be re-added to my pantry. So this is a really cool system and I think that it makes shopping so much easier. I since I've been utilizing this I literally never forget anything when I go to the store as it's so easy just to work your way through your pantry list and just check what things you need or what things you're running low of. So that's it. If you did find this video useful then I'd really appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I post new Notion tutorials twice a week. You can also check out my pre-made Notion templates like this awesome reading tracker on my store. The link will be in the description box below.